Supplementation is the subject of our talk right now. The core four, our core four supplements, we're gonna outline those for you now. Many individuals have attended our classes and they always ask us what the core four supplements are. Well, number one, we usually start with a B complex. B complex, uh, B vitamins are water soluble vitamins. That means they dissolve in water and they are very, very essential for almost every metabolic reaction that you have in your body, especially in the mitochondria. That means B vitamins are necessary and essential for energy production. If we're missing one B vitamin, we don't make good energy. That means we're gonna be tired and fatigued and we're gonna struggle. So it's very important that you have all of the B vitamin players. There's eight, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, B12. They're all there. It's important to have a little bit of all of them in your diet every day. B's number one. The magnesium, that wonderful mineral, which is the second most pre prevalent mineral in the body, is responsible for over 300 enzyme reactions across the body. And many times we as a people, and we've done videos on this before, are magnesium deficient. Magnesium is also very, very important for the Krebs cycle, for energy function, for relaxation as well. And being that magnesium is very problematic, we're gonna make sure we get the right amount of magnesium in. We use a form called magnesium bisglycinate. It's high in its absorption rate and doesn't, and you'll be like, you'll like this, it doesn't cause the bowels to be lax as bad as the magnesium citrate. The next nutrient that we recommend, highly recommend, is something called coenzyme Q10. Coenzyme Q10 is a natural antioxidant that is synthesized by the body and it's found in many foods and is available as a supplement. It comes in the form of ubiquinol, which is the highly readily available form, or ubiquinone. One important thing about coenzyme Q10 is that you will find it in the electron transport chain of the mitochondria. So if coenzyme Q10 is missing, you cannot complete that mitochondrial reaction in the electron transport chain to actually make ATP. So what does that mean? Fatigue. One of the medications that we know to pull down coenzyme Q10 is our statins. When we're on statin medications, it kind of log jams coenzyme Q10 and inhibits its reproduction. And as that level goes down, we start to suffer from muscle aches and fatigue. So it is important to have coenzyme Q10 on board when you're taking a statin. And in general, especially even if you're an athlete or just an in individual who wants to have a high energetic life. And that's three. Number four is fish oil. 85% of the population in America take a fish oil. Not all fish oils are created equal. Some are, I call it kind of scammy if you want to look at the term. Looking at the back of the label, you'll see just a little bit of your essentials in there, the EPA and DHA, with the rest being filled by who knows what kind of oils. The bottom line is you need fish oil. We use a quality triglyceride bound fish oil that has a high amount of EPA, DHA. Fish oils are known as polyunsaturated fats and we have to have a proper ratio of omega-6 versus omega-3 in our system. In our standard American diet, as we've talked about before, the ratio that we're seeing right now is about 20 or 25 to one, six to three. What we really want is about a three to one or even less, six to three. So what is the remedy? cut down the polyunsaturated omega-6 through this processed food and increase omega-3s through the use of fish oils and also the consumption of fish more often. Core four, get this core four right and you'll find yourself supplementing properly. The mitochondria will work properly. You'll have plenty of energy because you don't want to run out and the cells will be functioning optimally as well.